Good morning, everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic morning this morning. It is a beautiful, blessed, and glorious day that the Lord has created. And it is snowing here in Virginia. We are excited. I just I just called my family. They're excited. We hoping that we hoping we get a whole lot more snow. But anyways, we're excited about this today. We don't get a lot of snow where I'm at here in Virginia. But uh, but anyways. Today is a beautiful, blessed, and wonderful day, and if you opened your eyes today, you are blessed. I know you might be going through some struggles right now. I know it's hard to see the other side, but the fact that you opened your eyes today and you are here, you are here, it is a blessed, beautiful, and glorious day. Keep your eyes, heart, and mind focused on Jesus and he will bring you peace in your heart. He will bring you joy in your life through the pain, through the struggle. We all got struggles, we all got issues, but the difference between those of us that stay in that struggle and stay in that depression and stay in that fear and stay in that struggle and those that are filled with joy constantly in that pain, in that suffering, are those of us that have, have, have the ones that have joy are the ones that have Jesus. The ones that don't have Jesus, they're the ones that are lost. So that's why we are here. We are here to, to, to grab those lost and bring them tight into Jesus so that they can have that, that, those blessings as well. You guys, if you have not spent time today connecting with the Lord, if you have not spent time knowing Him, knowing His character, His love, His joy, His peace, how He wants us to live our lives, then join me for a quick word this morning. This one is coming out of Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. I prayed this morning real quick. Before I jumped in this, I was like, what do you want me to read? <laughs> I opened my Bible and I said, you know what? I need to focus on Ephesians. And this is what I flipped right to. I got it highlighted right here. Anyways, Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14 says this. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. And let's jump on down to the study note, which says this, God gives the Holy Spirit to us as a seal confirming that we belong to him and his deposit guaranteeing that he will do what he has promised. The presence of the Holy Spirit is like a down payment, a deposit, a validating signature on God's contract. The Holy Spirit working in us demonstrates the genuineness of our faith, proves that we are God's children and secures eternal life for us. His power transforms us now and that and what we experience today gives us a first taste of the total change we will experience in eternity. Now, how, you might be asking, how do I get the Holy Spirit? It's super easy. All you have to do is truly believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and God says that you will be saved. Romans 10 verses 9 through 10 says, Clear as day, those that confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in their hearts that God raised him from the dead will be saved. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's so easy. And you would think, don't, you would think people, people tend to complicate this. People tend to complicate this. It's that easy, folks. It's that easy. God loves us so much that he made it that easy for you to receive eternal salvation. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? And when you believe in Christ, when you believe in the one true Jesus Christ, the one true God, you become indwelled with the Holy Spirit and he will begin to change you, to mold you, to shape you. The Bible says you will uh, uh, have a transforming of your mind, a renewal of your mind. Now don't, eh, I'm getting all my words mixed up. Don't make, mess it up, all right? Listen to me when I say this. When I say don't mess it up, I mean don't get it twisted. It's not something when the Holy Spirit, when you become an indwelled believer, it's not something that is going to happen like that. It's not going to, your change isn't going to happen overnight, but you will feel the presence 
of the Holy Spirit. You know those times when you, you're going to make a decision and you really feel this push, this push leaning you, leaning you this way when you really want to go this way? That's the Holy Spirit telling you. That's the Holy Spirit saying, don't go this way. It's not good for you. And then, you, you know, sometimes you go that way and it doesn't work out how you want it to. It's because you should have went the other way. That's where the Holy Spirit was telling you to go. When you become an indwelled believer, the Holy Spirit comes inside you and he transforms you. He changes your life. He renews your mind. And you want to begin living a life that honors Christ because of what he did for us on the cross. Y'all, I say it all the time. Even if, even if, even if Jesus never did another thing for me in my life. He's already done so much for me. He's done so much for me. You guys, I wish you knew. I wish you knew. I, I me telling you, can't even, can't even describe. You won't even be able to fathom the, the, the disastrous life I had before I knew Christ. And then when I came to Christ, whoo, boy, he changed it around, turned it around, turned it around over the course of about 10, 12 years changed my life, changed my mind, changed everything. God is good, y'all. God is good. And I know I'm rambling. I'm excited right now. Jesus is good. When you become a believer in Christ, whew, Holy Spirit comes inside of you, guides you, leads you, teaches you, shapes you, makes you, breaks you, molds you. But you've got to give your mind, your heart. you got to stay focused on Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> this is getting long and I'm sorry, but I'm excited. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, glorious day. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray in Jesus' mighty and gracious, wonderful name, Lord. We thank you for the blessing of this day that you created, Lord, filling us with your presence, filling us with your spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you for being indwelled inside of us. Thank you for leading us, guiding us, teaching us, shaping us, molding us. Lord, help us to know, love, and serve you every single day and let your light shine in us and through us so that those that may not know you can know you and experience that joy, experience that light, and more importantly, experience you because you, Lord, you, Jesus, are amazing you are perfect you are wonderful you are free you are you are joy you are peace you are everything lord thank you for this day thank you for every day thank you for this life it is in jesus name we pray amen you guys i hope and i pray that you have an amazing wonderful day god bless and go in peace